Hey guys, Sai here with another StarCraft 2 commentary. This is going to be on Zelnaga Caverns. It's going to be Idra, or Idra, actually. We have confirmed that it is pronounced Idra against Maro, the Terran player. This is in the Intel Extreme Masters ESL tournament, and this is the final. So these guys are the last two to remain. Dimaga was knocked out, unfortunately, but he had some pretty great games against, I believe it was... Uh, actually, he got knocked out against Maro as well. So... Um, this is going to be a good matchup here. You'll notice I haven't been casting my own games lately just because I am taking a short break from uh, going hardcore one-on-one -on -one status. And Idria is just so awesome. I like to cast his games and try to learn from them. And I figure you guys can learn him from him as well just because he's, uh, I'd say he's the best Zerg player in the world for StarCraft 2 right now. So here we go. Uh, I didn't release a shout-out video today. It is Sunday right now. And I didn't release a video yesterday either. I might take a break every now and then on the weekends from releasing a video a day, but I'll try to maintain that schedule on the weekdays. So I'll probably release this on Monday. It is Sunday right now when I'm recording it. So, yeah, now you know. And I'm also going to do a shout-out video for all the donators because you guys are awesome. So now that I've filled in the time adequately, I'm going to start commentating now. And uh, we are seeing a 14 gas from Idra. He actually likes to go 15 gas, and then someone pointed out to me that he was actually doing 15 gas, 14 pool, not 15 gas, 15 pool. So this is actually is going to be a 14 gas, 14 pool, as opposed to 15, 14. If that made any sense to any of you whatsoever. So yeah, and also you'll notice in my videos I always like to scout around 12 or 13 drones, and Idra actually waits uh, a little bit longer. And I think uh, I think I like this because Idra's doing it for one and also because when you do send that 12 drone or something it's unlikely you're gonna see anything out of out of the norm I mean there's gonna be a barracks most likely and you know gas and all that good stuff but by sending a 14 or 15 drone you do get a little bit more economy and uh, you know you're not wasting your time running around here with this drone and you're gonna see something important pretty much whenever you scout and look the Terran players got almost the same timing on this scout so here comes Idra's drone He's going to see that tech lab, and a huge, huge thing that has been going on in ZVTs is just mass reaper play. It's it's so silly, like, you have to get roaches. You're, you're going to need early speed li speedlings and queen play to deal with the early reapers, and then you, you almost have to get roaches eventually. So what Idra did in the last game to fend off these reapers was um, kind of destroy the bulk of them with the roaches after the lair comes up he'll get the roach speed and then he'll push in with zerglings and roaches and try to finish the ter terran player as he's expanding and uh, catch him you know in that transition phase where the terran player has a good economy building up but he hasn't quite gotten a force yet so we'll see if he does that this game i have not watched these games yet i do know the outcome of these final matches though so i'll try not to spoil them for you guys Two more racks is going down for Maro. Still running off, uh, nope, he's running off of two gas. Idra usually likes to steal a gas. He didn't do that this game. Second queen coming out to prepare to support that second expansion there. The first queen always injects, then comes out here to lay a creep tumor. And when this queen pops out, we will see an inject on her. So come on, bitch. Come on, bitch. 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 Oh, look at that. Oh, you see that? That was... She had like three little penises fluttering yeah so expansion is going down we've got uh, a couple more racks is almost finishing almost positive you'll see some immediate tech labs on both of these there's one there's the other and uh, here come the reapers so some extremely creative play from the Terran player Maro mass reapers yeah extending that creep tumor and I've also got a video idea coming up for you guys. There's that Roach Warren. And that Lair is almost uh, positively going to be just for the Roach speed. He might throw down a Spire. But because this player is going Reapers, and I'm sure Idra will scout that eventually. Yeah, he does see that with this Overlord. I doubt he's going to get a Spire. So hopefully I'll be right and look good because I haven't seen this game. And oh, he's actually Supply Locked himself. That is the first time I have ever seen Idra Supply Lock himself. One Overlord now producing... Wow, he just now started that Overlord too. That is crazy. Maybe uh, he is nervous or something. I don't know. Four, five racks is now for Maro. No expansion being prepared whatsoever. Looks like he's going uh, quite heavy on these Reapers. He does have the Nitro Packs researched. Idra does have his Roach worn down. And uh, I don't see any Roaches on the field yet. Just a lot of Zerglings, two Queens. And it looks like he's scouting out the towers here. 
continuing to spread creep. So doing very well with that extra queen while you're getting your expansion. You can usually drop down a even two or three creep tumors and just spread it all over the map and look how fast those zerglings are so much faster than the reapers with that creep and trying to bounce around here and uh, get us around on these reapers but he doesn't want to get too far off the creep he's gonna wait for this overlord to spew and then I have a feeling he's gonna try to surround yeah he's running out there the reapers do have to drop down more reinforcing and if we look at the production tab he is getting roach speed glial reconstitution and a roach or two here so one roach now doing a little bit of damage oh nice around but somehow the reapers evaded and just dropped down that cliff losing every single ling and this is why roaches are so uh, pivotal in trying to fend off these reapers so it's not looking good for Idra already that first little surround with those groups of lings is really a big determinant of you know how well you're gonna fend off this reaper rush and uh, it's not looking too good he is pumping out more lings more roaches he has to forego the drones and even a couple roaches are so effective against stalling them you'll see he has, he has to kite it quite a bit and unfortunately he does not have the glial reconstitution yet I have a feeling once he gets the reconstitution reconst the roach speed which right now is uh, 2.25 plus 0.67 on creep will be about the same as the reaper speed which is 3.84 so right now he's uh, down like a whole unit of speed so we'll wait for that constitution to kick in and see what happens but man, these Reapers are just doing so much damage. He's not doing much economic damage at all. The drones are still happily mining away. But the hatchery is very low, and he just has to keep on shoveling roaches in here to try to stop these Reapers, and just one more round will destroy that hatchery. I don't know if Marl saw, saw that or not, but he needs to get in there. One more blast, there it goes. Down goes the expansion, and man, just, uh, just losing those first batches of Lings over here was just so devastating for him right now. He's really really struggling at this point he's even just kind of throwing out his roaches trying to get him out of here the reapers finally do back out but look there's more what else am I doing nothing I have an expansion and I'm getting more raxes Woo! more than likely going to throw down some fast extractors on here to support even more reaper play if he does go that route maybe see a marauder yep I was just gonna say maybe see some marauder switch just because uh, Idra is going that heavy roach route now what's their speed so 3.9 and 3.84. So roaches are actually a little bit faster on creep than uh, reapers, and we can we'll probably see that right here. Yeah, you can just kind of tell by the way they run that roaches are just a tidbit faster than reapers on creep with the glial reconstitution. Is he gonna snipe that hatchery? Yes, he was gonna snipe it. Nice cancel right there by Idra, but man, that is just such a huge blow not needing to get those extra gases right away just because he is doing the marauder switch which have a four to one mineral to gas ratio as opposed to a one to one mineral gas ratio for the reapers so we'll, we'll probably just see heavy heavy marauders at this point it's going to be hard for idra to come back from this I've, I've never seen him lose an expansion like that to reapers uh he played it like he does a lot of other games maybe Marl's micro with his reapers is just a little bit better or his roaches were slower or, or he just mismanaged his lings or something but I think it's going to be really tough for Idra to win at this point. He has supply locked himself by sending that Overlord in. Not bothering with any evolution chambers. He just doesn't have the economy to support that right now. Not getting any mutas either. So uh, we should see some kind of push here pretty soon from Morrow. Roach is moving out to the tower on the east side. And a Reaper just bouncing around checking out for any uh, special expansions. And it does get sniped by the acid of the Roaches. Isn't it amazing how every single unit in StarCraft just has amazing aim that they never miss any shot whatsoever? I mean, you'd think like tiny little spines coming out of Hydra's mouth would miss every once in a while, but they don't. Now seeing a pretty common transition, tangent aside, into uh, centrifugal hooks for the Banelings to deal with some mass marines. Usually though, this is kind of strange. Usually when you see this Baneling play, you will see mutas accompanying it, so I don't know how well this is going to work with zerglings, banelings, and roaches. It's going to be kind of interesting. I have a feeling it's not going to work very well because, okay, the banelings will kill the marines. That's good. But then what will he do against the marauders? Hopefully some zerglings will come in and surround or, or something because the roaches just aren't really going to do the job. Morrow is moving out now with a pretty significant bioforce. Creep is spread pretty well. Idra will see this coming. Yeah, he sees that right now because those creep tumors do give you sight. And looks like he's going to move out, try to catch him off guard. Centripetal Hooks is not up, though. Looks like he might have canceled it, actually. No, it's still going right now. Stim now kiting these Banelings, and Marauders standing in the front to take the brunt of the uh, Baneling blows. 
and yeah, just see, you can just kite the crap out of these banelings. Actually did pretty well. Those marauders uh, ate up a lot of the baneling damage, but now this is going to make the roaches much more effective against these marines. Now splitting the baneling forces, I don't know if that was intentional or not, or just going around the rocks, but reinforcing with some stem marauders. There goes the hooks. Now roly polies are in play, and Idra might actually take this game. Marlo's kind of on the run at this point. He's got to lock out those supply depots probably and uh, get behind them. No more banelings left. He is backing up, but the lings swarm up. Oh man, this is close. Idra is just continuing to rally. Look, these lings coming. More lings coming from up here. Roaches might be a little bit too slow, so it looks like he is just getting pure lings. And, you know, I have a feeling that was kind of it. I don't think there's much more Idra can do here. It was a nice try, but he's just too out econ economy. We are seeing 54 to 26 harvesters. Idra running in with some more lings. It was a nice last stitch attempt, but uh, yeah, there it is. There he goes. GG. Mar was securing himself with some more bunkers, and he had two bases. Idra had terrible saturation. He had to go all in once he lost his hatchery. And uh, But that's it, guys. I hope you like the Idra re replays, and uh, let me know what you think of this game. And thanks for watching.